Yo, so um, these are one of my creations. These are inspired by Zeus, and I don't really have a name for them yet. But let me get to the medias real quick. As usual, follow my IG at le underscore sheep chains. If you got any questions or you want to talk business, or whatever the case is, email me at le underscore sheep chains at yahoo.com. Website at least sheep chains .com. Um, My portfolio, my new one, my Behance. I'll write it down in the comments below. And uh, so you can guys, you guys can check that out. But let's get to the shoes. All right. So um, a little bit about me. Um, I'm a graduate student. I go to SCAD. And if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. S C A D SCAD. It's um, Savannah College of Art and Design. And basically, what I go to it for is for footwear, accessories design. I'm majoring in that. So I made my own footwear collections. I plan on having my own footwear line. You know, so if I can get the proper funding. I start mass producing my shoe designs, and these are one of them. Now, my collection was based off of Greek mythology, Zeus, Kronos. And if you saw some of my videos before, you saw the shoes that I made before, and those were the samples. And these are the final ones that I made. And I made these by hand, so I stitched everything. I made the mitts, so you can see how I made it. Uh, made it a two-parter. Added the the cuts inside on the shoes and all that. So this is a shoe made by hand. Got white and a sock lining. I gotta add an insole. That's the insole insole, the real insole really. This is my logo in the front. So let me kinda let me let you guys look at it real quick, then I'll break down exactly how I got to this shoe. Alright, so everything starts off by hand. I mean, at least for me, I start off and I start sketching first. And then I start kind of creating the patterns and the idea, yada, yada, yada. So I drew, um, you know, a figure of Zeus that I found. And I want his shoe to be a hot top shoe. Very strong, powerful, sharp angles. Kind of go along with his lightning bolt or, you know, his, uh, I think his staff or whatever he has. Just really fitting to Zeus, you know, being the, almost the god of gods. And... That's why I had the gold and chrome type look on him. So let me go over here real quick. This is the original design that I had. A very high top shoe, almost Kobe-esque, with a midsole going up with a light panel here. But I had to switch it up because once I made it, as you guys saw in the last one, the last sample, if you go to go on pre previous videos, it just didn't look right. So, you know, and that's what happens sometimes. You got to tweak your designs. And so this is the sketches. And I, I was inspired by this armor type look. And I wanted to add that on top of the shoe where the laces go. Kind of like a protective shield to kind of go, you know, protecting Zeus. I was going to make a bag kind of based off of these protective shields as well, but I wasn't able to. I switched up the designs a little bit. So this was the original sketches of the shoe. And, and, and you know, things always change. And the final ones. So again, let me break these down a little more. So I added the shields on the tongue and there's a little hole, a little slat under here so you can slide the laces under it so it won't affect the, the little shields on top of it. The chrome shield on the tongue as well on the top apart with my logo in gold. Most of the shoe is gold with a um, gray knit. This is a knit material that I have. and um, So I bought all these from you know stores around the way. I did some research and found the right material. So this is like a, a knit that I that I have. So a gray knit where chrome, steel lace loops, the shields, the top of the tongue, and the back is this uh, a, a two-tone gold. This is more of a yellowy gold. This is more of a bronze gold in the front, as you can see it. White pull tab in the back, white inner sock lining, and gold lace lace holes right here to slide the laces in my logo right there and this was all laser cut so i had i had this piece of fabric laid out flat then on the on the piece of fabric i on illustrator i drew out this design these cuts right here and as well as this design right here so i drew it out got a laser cut and and with this fabric, I also put in some extra pieces of fabric inside to give it that 3D look, as you see right here. The proper term is uh, trapunto, if I'm saying it right, trapunto, trapunto. 
And I, re I really like the 3D relief. Let me see if I can make it zoom in. There we go. I really love the 3D relief on shoes. So I really want to add that. So just got three columns going on, on the each side. Pyramid column in the middle. A couple more columns at the top. And this was more etched and it wasn't cut through. Just kind of give it some type of design. And again, going along with uh, Zeus, very strong angles, as you can see. Structured, strong cuts going across the, going across the midsole. Midsole coming up, sharp angles. The bottom, just that. Uh, I'm limited in my supplies by making shoes by hand, so I just have a regular bottom. And inside here is where I put the battery and ETC that's going on with this shoe. Of course, the shoe lights up. That's kind of my thing. And it lights up right here. It lights up white. So right now it's gold. It's gold right now, but when you turn the lights on, it's white. I don't have the battery in yet, but the on and off buttons you can see right here. So this will be where, how you turn the lights on the shoes on and off. So I'll put the lights in in a second, or the battery in in a second. But design-wise, that's mostly it for the shoes. Again... Based off of Zeus, very strong, powerful, structured lines. I try, you know, not not many curves on it. You know, you still need curves on the shoe. But um, that's it for that. Let me put the lights in real quick. All right, so the lights are off. Lights on. So um, again, white lights inside the shoes. Off, on. I really love the white lights when it's turned on with the shoe. It really looks nice, especially at nighttime or when it's just dim outside. I mean, it really pops. It's like it's a nice little subtle hint with the lights. This one, the light, the battery's not as strong. I got a new one, but you can see. Let me turn the lights off real quick. And these are how they look with, when the lights are off. A logo in the middle with some, uh, you know, strong structured, structured column type designs around them. I get a new battery for this one, but you get an idea of how these shoes look like with the lights off and on. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, so uh, just to kind of go off, so these are size nine and a half. You can walk in them; you know, they're easily walkable and everything there. But you can't play in them at all. The sample shoes. But uh, what I plan on doing with these is showing them to companies. So I graduate in May. This this coming May. Uh, 2015 and I plan on you know applying to jobs Nike Adidas Reebok Puma Supra you know whoever and um hopefully I can bring these there and show it to them and they and they love it and uh I get a career and then once I get that I want to also want to start working on having my own footwear line you know so there's a lot of different avenues I'm trying to attack but I do plan on starting a campaign this summer where I will ask everybody on my medias for one dollar and I uh, just send it to my PayPal. Just one dollar from um, my Instagram is at like almost forty thousand now. Um, Facebook fan page, the uh, YouTube channel. If everyone can send me one dollar, I should be able to get at least forty to fifty thousand dollars and start a can and you know start manufacturing these shoes. And of course, those that actually helped fund me will get a you know something special and everything. But um, that's just an idea that I have. And of course, there's always Kickstarter. You know, everyone says Kickstarter, but it's just very, it's very hard to get accepted for Kickstarter. It's not the easiest thing, you know. So, I'll try that as well. I'll try Kickstarter. I'll try what I just said. Just some way to kind of get some money to start getting these off the ground and into the shelves. And um, so again, that's that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. You know, I've been growing a lot lately. Instagram, um, YouTube channel's been getting a lot more subscribers. You know, if you can share this video. Tell me what you think. Email me if you want to talk to me because I don't see anything else in the comments. Just email me. My email will be down below. And that's it. That's it.